Here we have the HyperX Cloud Stinger headset, which is a few years old now. Does it still hold up against all the newer headsets? In this video, we're going to be going over key features, seeing who this product would actually be good for, how it compares to the competition, and whether it's worth your hard-earned money. If that sounds interesting to you, stay tuned and let's get into the video. Now, if you're a gamer, you probably know all about the HyperX headsets. Whether you're gaming on your PC, PS4, Xbox, or Switch, you've probably tried one of their dozen plus headsets over the years. Some may have even tried the original HyperX, and back then, with only one model, it was pretty easy to choose. So fast forward to now, and we have the HyperX Cloud Stinger headset, still battling it out against other budget gaming headsets. And surprisingly, it still beats out the majority in all the right categories. So let's take a closer look. Now, before getting into the specs and features, it doesn't matter how good a set of cans are if it's not compatible with your gaming platform. And that's the big bonus of the Cloud Stinger. It works with your PS4, Xbox One, PC, Mac, and even your phone. Actually, it's the second big bonus, the first being the incredible price. So right off the bat, it hits the check marks for price and compatibility. Now when it comes to look and design, well, it's basically a solid piece of black plastic, and that's not necessarily a bad thing. For one, it makes the headset extremely lightweight, which is great for extended gaming without having something heavy weighing down on your head. It does have an adjustable steel slider for sizing, and there's some cushioning on the headband for added comfort. The ear cups rotate 90 degrees for a better than expected fit, plus you'll find it easier to rest on your shoulders between death matches. Inside the cups, you've got cushy memory foam cushions under the leatherette ear cup pads, and were actually very comfortable and we had no discomfort even wearing them for the better part of an afternoon. The ear pads did get a little sweaty, but that comes with the territory, as is the case with most pads with fake leather covers. Back to the design, so the only buttons on the headset are on the bottom of the right ear cup. You've got your volume rocker that you just slide to adjust your in-game volume, and that's it for buttons, although technically it's not a button. Now on the other side, you've got your mic. It's quite flexible, kind of rubberish, so you can adjust it however you like, and since there are no buttons, you can tilt it up 90 degrees to mute it and back down to unmute. You'll hear a little click so you know your mic is live. When it comes to the mic quality, we found it was quite good. Chats on Discord and in-game were clear. Even regular phone calls and FaceTime calls didn't have any major issues. Occasionally, the voice came in a little nasally. It's not the best mic out there, and with newer boom mics being detachable or retractable, it misses out on being able to be used outside of our gaming den for everyday use. Well, the Stinger is a pure plug-and-play using the 3.5 millimeter audio jack, so you get full-on stereo sound without some software trying to emulate fake 7.1 or 5.1 surround sound. The 50 millimeter directional drivers push out great V-shaped sound with nice emphasis on the bass, so it complemented the heavy explosions and COD incredibly well for impressive directional audio for immersive gameplay. Of course, it doesn't compare to the higher end cans like the HyperX Cloud Orbit S. Even when we switched over to Asphalt 9 Legends, we were pleasantly surprised how the subtle engine rumbles and even the high pitched tire squeals came in extremely well with good clarity and detail. And as annoying as it was, when you get overtaken on your left or right, you definitely know it. So what's the verdict? Now, if you're an avid or competitive gamer, you'll probably want a set of cans with a bigger soundstage, especially in FPS. But for casual gamers, these stingers hit all the important check marks, including versatile compatibility, cushy comfort for extended wear, even with a fake leather, as long as you're not a heavy perspirer. The mic quality is solid, but lacks being removable or retractable. And most importantly, the sound quality definitely goes way beyond your typical $50 set of cans flooding the market. So this is 
the AC1750 Netgear Wi-Fi router, the R6400. It is a dual band, so it has 2.4 and 5 gigahertz. Let me detach some of my cables, because I took this off my... To show it to you, I just detached it from my ca cable modem. You have all your indicator lights right here. You have your power display. You'll have your timer. You'll also have your 2.4 and 5 gigahertz spectrum. And there's your two USB ports and you have four LAN ports as well as indicator lights. I don't want to show you my uh, network name on the back, so we're going to block that out. But you can see that the network, the Netgear, uh, let me, the Netgear is the AC1750 Smart Wi-Fi Router Model 6400 really easy to set up and how easy is the setup let's talk about it let's also talk about what makes this so such a interesting modem or, or sorry an interesting router for you so let's look at some of its features Go. so this is relatively inexpensive and it has really amazing range which is dual band it's good for people with larger homes who are looking to upgrade but are considering hey i don't want to spend too much money the range is i mean the range really is where it's, it, 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 it really shines the brightest. It shines the brightest in terms of range. So in terms of range, you can go all the way up to 200 feet. You can go all the way up to 200 feet. And this will still be able to have good, good, you know, how do you say good? I would say this will still have connection up to 200 feet away from the, from the, from the router. 200 feet people if you want to if you want to know how easy it is to set this up just plug it into your modem you plug it in and you can just log on to the website on your laptop when you're connected on the same network you just go to routerlogin.net you type in your username password that's on the back of your netgear and boom you can set it up with your system and your network and then you'll be all set up. It sounds more complicated than it really is. It is extremely, extremely simple. Imagine traveling half a world away. Excuse me, do you live in this neighborhood? Excuse-moi, tu vis dans ce quartier. Oui. Laissez-moi vous montrer. Yes, let me show you.